On today's Drinking with Johnny, I'm going to be trying White Horse Fine Old Blended Scotch Whiskey. It's from Lockside Way, Edinburgh, in London. The White Horse Cellar Inn was the starting place for the eight-day coach trip to London. It's 40% bottled by Kitten. I don't know anything about White Horse. I've seen it many times in the stores. And I'm just now trying it. There's so many. There's so many that I gotta get to. And I just haven't. Because there's just so many. And there's just so little time. I don't smell anything. <laughs> I'm not an expert. I shouldn't be called a, an aficionado. I should just be called a whiskey enthusiast. I like to drink whiskey, but I don't know shit about it. So I don't smell anything. You're never gonna see me go like, oh, this this has like a oaky. I have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. I see these guys like fucking with these like fancy shaped glasses, and they got their nose buried in it, and they're just like, and I just I just laugh at that shit. It's so lame. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I'll I'll smell it, you know, because why not? Uh, but I just don't understand it. They just sit there. They sit there and they spend more time smelling it than they do drinking it. And then when they drink it, they go. Like... I saw one guy spitting it out. Like he literally spit the whiskey out. I was just like, the fuck, dude? Seriously? Like that was the first time I ever saw that. I was like, what the fuck, dude? I was like, dude, you were up. You are a fucking puss. <laughs> it's like, just fucking drink it, dude. What the hell's wrong with you? You're just like spitting out whiskey? Are you serious? What the fuck's wrong with you, dude? Like, that's messed up. Anyways, let's stop rambling and ranting. Come pie. That's the best I can do for you, is like, <laughs> facial reactions. You got all these like, guys with like, <sighs> I don't know how to describe their look. I'm sure you've seen some of these guys who do like these professional whiskey reviews. You've seen what the guys look like, and they look like the type of guys that would sit there and smell it for two minutes and then spit it out after they take a sip of it. Ugh. But yeah, like, the best, the best I can do is give, like, facial reactions because, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I mean, it's pretty easy to drink. It's good straight. A lot of times with the cheap stuff, I have to mix it with Coke or something. But this is a uh, this is good on its own. I mean, that's all you really want to know, right? I, I you know I get comments going like, well, the, "You're not telling me anything. You're just saying it's good." Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> I mean, you just go try it yourself. Honestly, the reason why I do this stuff is really, it's just sort of like a diary. Like people take it literally as like some kind of professional review. It's like, dude, my thumbnail is me like holding a bottle with a green screen in the background. I'm wearing a beanie. I'm wearing like a bullet club jacket. Do I look like I am some kind of like professional whiskey reviewer? Fuck no, what the hell were you expecting when you clicked on that shit? Like, come on. It, it's more of just a, a video diary of, like, the various whiskeys and vodkas and gins and bourbon you know, that I try for the first time. It's just, it's just a, it's just like a video documentation of the first time I try these different brands and my, like, reaction to it. It's not gonna be, like, some, like, crazy professional thing. So, like, people get, like, really like shitty in the comments about it. it's just like not all the time usually it's uh positive but you you know every once in a while you get those comments that it's just like 
you know there's like a shit ton of other videos that can give you better information than this like and you look at the thumbnails and the titles and you should get a pretty clear idea of which ones are like the pro you know butt sniffers the guys that like smell their own farts and the guy that's just likes drinking whiskey you know and probably doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about so like i think you're i think you're being a little too harsh huh and i get it i get it it's a uh, constructive criticism not really though it's not really constructive criticism when they like use personal insults <laughs> when you start when you start hurling personal insults at somebody that's that's not really constructive criticism you're just being a douchebag anyway it is what it is thanks for checking this out i'm gonna go do a live stream and drink more and uh, I know that pisses people off and it makes me happy. Come back. He's Johnny in Japan. He's Johnny in Japan. He's the worst day blogger in the world. Crappy food reviews. Barely any views. He's the worst day blogger.